Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this series of video, we are working on several videos, uh, several labs for EZ900, which is a, a, a Microsoft Azure Fundamental Certification. In the last 10 videos, we have completed all these uh, uh, labs, and in this particular video, we are going to focus on uh, lab 11, which is create a VM with the CLI. So if you look at the last two labs, which we on lab 9 we use a template uh, to deploy a virtual machine in the last lab we used Porsche and in the, this lab we're going to create the virtual machine but we're going to use the Azure CLI for that work so let's get started with the lab and again just look at take a look at what we do we're still going to use that same button to open up our CLI environment but we're going to move to the best environment to get to the Azure CLI and just like uh, the the partial commands, it's gonna be similar. So for CLI, so let's put a note over here. As your CLI, uh, let's put over here as your as your partial. So that's what we used in the last video. In this video, we're gonna work on as your CLI. So easy group create. And look at that name and the location it's the same parameters that we're sending only differences here I have a double uh, bar uh, over here on the one space bar was uh, dash was was required okay that's the only difference plus a little bit different how this command is formatted this is new easy resource group here is a group create okay uh, so then uh, again we can verify that the resource group is available by running this command and we're gonna output as a table and here in the parcel we did the same thing we just said format table uh, then uh, for the creation of the VM this is also pretty similar if you look at AZ VM create and we use new AZ VM for the parcel the rest of the parameters that we're passing they're exactly or almost the same okay and here we are actually passing both as your username and password along with this command. Um, so uh, let's get up to that point. Then we'll we'll verify that the deployment is uh, uh, completed in our portal. And once that is done, we are going to verify that uh, whether this uh, virtual machine is running properly even with the even using the port uh, even using the uh, CLI commands so we'll run this to show the status and to stop we're gonna use this and look at the AZVM stop and for the parcel we had stop AZVM okay it's very very similar and uh, again we can run the same uh, so the another one that's not in that lab is is vm start so if you want to start you just move change that stop to start so we'll start and the advice recommendation again i'm not going to cover is this one it usually takes a little bit of time for the advisor to get the recommendation if you want a little bit of introduction just look at the previous video so let's get started with the lab so let's go in here uh, go to our home and open up our power cell or our uh, cell is it read open uh, it's probably at the bottom right here so let's move to a bash window say yeah move to that uh, CLI version of it and once we get to that uh, let's do some work so what we are doing is we're going to start creating a resource group as per the lab so that's gonna create the resource group so we are really uh, we are done with this uh, we are in the bass so this is the command we just done we just did and then we're gonna verify and it's already gonna give you the output and it says the resource group creation is successful so let's put that command to make sure I have the resource group available to us and if you look at uh, my RGCLI is the resource group which just got created so I'm happy about it so we have done this now I'm going to run this command to uh, deploy the virtual machine okay so just hit enter and it should start deployment of this virtual machine within this resource group okay I'm going to pause the video as soon as this deployment is done we'll, 
will be back. It usually takes for VM like two minutes. It's that fast. All right, it's literally probably about two minutes that this deployment is done. And you can again see, you can read it, and it says the VM status is running, and you can see the private and the public IP address as well. So let's see, um, over here, when all of that is done, I can go back to uh, my Azure uh, portal, go to my resource groups, and uh, I'm gonna take a peek inside the resource group that we have used. And make sure you can see the same information from the resource group as well. So let's give it a more, a little bit more real estate CLI. This is the one uh, resource group that we just used. And if you look at it, we have all the virtual machine available. Uh, VM CLI is the virtual machine we created. It's running. East US. Here's the IP address. So all of that looks good. You can get the same information from running the uh, Azure uh, CLI command. And what command is that? You're gonna. This is the command we're gonna run. So let's put that. It's gonna show the VM, AZ VM show, and you should see the output is in table format. So it's running. Here is the public IP address. It's deployed in the SDI. So everything looks good. If you wanna stop that machine, again we can do AZ VM stop, then resource group and the name of the virtual machine. So it should stop the virtual machine and it says about the power of the virtual virtual machine. It will continue to be built to deallocate a VM, run as a VM deallocate. Okay. So remember that just because you have stopped a virtual machine, you and your billing has not been stopped. If you really want to stop the billing for the virtual machine, you gotta run you gotta deallocate the machine. Okay. Uh, so let's give it a second and let's review this lab. And once that's done, we can uh, rerun this command again just to prove that our virtual machine has been stopped. It looks like it's all done. So if I run this command again, I expect it will show that it's VM stop. But if you look at it from the portal, this did not get automatically refreshed. So I can click on this button right there to refresh to refresh this uh, uh, Azure portal and there we go that's what i was expecting so after a refresh it's now showing the vm has been stopped so if you want to turn it back on you can also run the start command okay so if you do that it's gonna restart the virtual machine it's again it's gonna take like 30 seconds to start the machine and once that's done uh, you can also keep on refreshing this machine you will see that as soon as it's it started yeah now it's you know it says it's running so this is all done and same way you can run the check the status again and it should say that it's running and all is good you should be able to use this machine so let's go back to this lab this uh, section as I said it's very similar to the last lab so you can go back and uh, take a look and just read yourself what are the Azure recommendation it as I said in the last lab it takes usually take some time for Azure to pick up a recommendation for a part, particular virtual machine since we just deployed uh, you probably won't have anything uh, for the recommendation but let's just quickly go there and we can end that uh, discussion right here so the advisor recommendation is right here under settings and if you click on it it says total recommendation zero and it's actually trying to refresh the recommendation uh, the recommendation by impact you have three different types high impact medium impact and low impact and uh, as you see right now there is no recommendation all right with that i'm going to end the video if you're studying for the exam uh, very good luck if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe please and share with your friends and leave your comment they're very valuable to me so i can make uh, better videos next time uh, once again uh, thank you. Thank you for watching and good luck with the exam.